Thanks to the internet and your phone, it's never been easier and faster to launch a life-changing online business from home with the potential to make up to $16,000 per month. In this video, I'll walk you through five of these high-profit online businesses and rank them in terms of difficulty and money-making potential. Now, some of these businesses I've been doing myself, but all of them in some shape or form have contributed to me and my wife leaving the 9 to 5 and starting our own wedding photography agency, booking weddings in locations like Dubai, Budapest, Barcelona, and New York. So I know Know for a fact that these work I'm not just throwing random ideas around number one designing thumbnails so YouTube has more than 51 million active channels and with more and more people joining the platform thumbnail designers are in higher demand than ever but having said that you're likely telling me mark what do I even know about designing thumbnails so just hear me out here yes professional thumbnail designers work in Photoshop and Illustrator but online platforms such as Canva make it easier than ever to design thumbnails in minutes and I know that because I'm actually doing it. For just $12.99 per month, you get access to Canva's background remover and I'll show you in a sec just how well and how fast it works. But first, let me tell you that thumbnail designers can make up to $8,000 per month if they're contracted with multiple YouTubers. If you're simply freelancing on Fiverr or Upwork, you can charge between $30 to $50 per thumbnail and it can take you anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour to design one depending on the complexity of the work. That means that if you work 5 hours every day per week and it takes you one hour per thumbnail, you could make $5,000 per month simply by freelancing. So let me show you how to do thumbnails in their simplest form. Using the photo I did for my first video, I'm going to take it and upload it into Canva. To remove the background, all I do is click on edit image and select the background remover. Within seconds, boom, the background is gone. Then I just add the rest of the elements for a thumbnail such as text, images and colors. Now is this perfect? No, of course not. It has a hard time removing messy backgrounds for example. But I've been a photographer for 5 years and before this if you wanted to design thumbnails you'd have to manually draw out the subject in Photoshop which required considerably more time. Now the very best thing with this business is once you're up to speed with Canva you can design some sample thumbnails, build up a portfolio and start advertising on Fiverr or Upwork. Now I can already see people in the comments saying well Mark it's a competitive market and I have no chance as a beginner. Listen to me, every single market is competitive. It's 2023 people have unlimited access to all kinds of platforms all over the internet so if you don't start you never will have a chance and others will just do it instead of you to boost your chances of selling always check competitors prices undercut them in the beginning by charging less and raise your prices once you get those few clients and reviews in now in terms of difficulty I'd rate it as a three out of five with five being the most difficult and in terms of money making potential I'd say it sits at a 2.5 out of five with five being the most profitable and that's because we have much better business ideas coming up. The next one is printable art creation. Now printables are any type of digital design that can be physically printed such as invitations, planners, wall art or stickers. Now they're easy to make in Canva because you can create them in various sizes, upload them onto Google Drive and share that access link with a buyer on Etsy. Now for the record my wife has launched a printable nursery art shop on Etsy just last week and I'm gonna get into how exactly we did the designs but first First, let's look at this shop right here which sells printable vintage art collections. They've been open since 2020 and have over 294,000 sales. Their average price is around $5 so if we do a quick math that's $1.4 million in just two years. And you can get this type of art on sites like Unsplash where they're free to download and you have a full license to sell them legally. Or you can use AI tools such as Midjourney to generate custom art in the same style based on just a couple of keywords. So let's look at how we designed some of our nursery printables. After doing some research on Etsy, we found that shops sold them in bundles of 6, 8 or 10. All we did was come up with a concept. So nursery printables should naturally look cute, so we looked up baby animals on Canva. To customize it a bit, we came up with a text applicable to all the designs, chose a font, saved it in 4 different sizes and uploaded those designs onto Etsy in less than an hour. Now we haven't made a sale yet, but we only launched this shop last week, so if you'd like to see progress videos on that, like with the digital templates shop, drop a comment down below. So I've been asked before in the comments if you can sell something like this legally from Canva and the short answer is yes. Canva's licenses clearly state that you are allowed to sell the designs on merchandise or as digital products. Now in terms of difficulty I'd say this sits at a 2 out of 5 with 5 being the most difficult. In terms of money making potential this sits at a 3 out of 5 and that's because the market is quite saturated and you need low prices to get started but once it gets going it can be profitable 
very fast. Number three, copywriting. So a copywriter is someone who writes marketing or promotional text for websites, emails, or social media posts. For example, if we go to Apple's website, all the text you see was carefully written by a copywriter. And I know for a fact that copywriters make a lot of money because we paid $50 an hour to a copywriter to write the text on our wedding photography website. And we were just one client. If she's working eight hours in a day, she could make up to $2,000 per week. And this is just an estimate because she quotes larger companies a lot more for personalized branding and weekly marketing emails. And to get started on copywriting, you could take a full day course on Udemy for just $19. Once you're up to speed, you can market yourself on Fiverr or Upwork, find local businesses in your area who are just getting started and offer to write copies for their websites for free. Now again, hear me out on this one as well. I normally don't encourage free work, but that's how we started our wedding photography agency. The first two weddings we did, we did them for free because the reality of the matter is you need a portfolio to attract clients and nobody will pay you for that first job unless you have one. And in the end, that initial free work paid off because nowadays we book about 20 to 30 weddings, making almost six figures a year. To help you even further, you could use a tool like Grammarly, which is an AI-powered writing assistant that helps with spelling, grammar, punctuation, and clarity. Now, Grammarly is completely free in its most basic form, but if you upgrade to the paid version, you'll have access to features like tone suggestion, which rewrites a sentence to make it sound more confident and appealing, or clean up tangled hard to read sentences to make it easier for readers to understand. I'll include links in the description to every tool I mention and by the way apart from Canva I'm not affiliated with any of these I just think they're great tools that I use in my daily work. In terms of difficulty, yeah, this is a 4 out of 5 because you need to actually learn how to write compelling copies and the money making potential is a 3.5 out of 5. The next two are even better. Number 4, short product commercials. So what if I told you that if you have a phone, about $20, a can of soda and a Canva subscription, you can create a professional looking product commercial just like this in under 15 minutes. So in this video right here, Daniel Schiffer takes a photo of a can of soda and transforms it into an animal animated commercial video using features found in the Canva Pro subscription in just 11 minutes. <laughs> now, normally I'm a skeptical when it comes to stuff like this, but I've tried it out and I've recreated the exact same concept with a can of orange soda and it took me about 15 minutes to do a similar video. Guys, <laughs> companies pay tons of money for these types of videos because thanks to platforms like TikTok, product commercials are shifting from high budget long form content to short and effective videos just like this one. And the best part is you can can build up a portfolio very quickly by simply going to the supermarket, buying a few products of your choice and just creating videos of them. You can start an Instagram or a TikTok page for content like this, upload your work onto Fiverr or Upwork and have your business running in just a couple of days. You can charge customers up to $1,000 per product while it takes you literally $20, a bit of creativity and a couple of hours to put it together. In terms of difficulty, this is a 3 out of 5 because all you need is a phone and a bit of creativity. And it's a 4 out of 5 on a money making scale simply because it requires almost no upfront investment. Number 5. Service Arbitrage So as an owner of a wedding photography agency, I can tell you personally that in running a business and experiencing growth, the more money you make, the harder you have to work. But what if there were a business where you could make more money without having to work harder? And that's where a business model like Service Arbitrage comes in. You see, Service Arbitrage is a business model whereby you deliver a set of services to clients through a third-party provider. And there are countless examples of services you can provide. It can be transcriptions, podcast editing, video creation, content writing. And the best part is you don't need to know a single thing about any of these. For example, Yaro Starak is an entrepreneur who launched BetterEdit.com to connect students with contractors who edited their thesis and essay papers. He owned the business, marketed the services through a website to attract clients, and hired contractors to deliver those services. With Within his first year in 2017, he generated $1.5 million in revenue. And the pricing model is dead simple. Charge customers more than what your contractors charge for the work. And folks, I've been applying this business model myself. For example, we don't just photograph weddings, we provide editing services to other photographers and videographers. Now obviously we do know how to edit ourselves, but next to a YouTube channel, a full-blown business and an Etsy shop, we simply don't have the time to do it ourselves, so we hired a contractor to provide the service 
service to others on our behalf. If you think about it for a bit, Uber, which is a multi-million dollar corporation, uses this exact model. They offer transportation services and hire contract drivers to deliver that service. They charge the client a fee, take a percentage as revenue, and then pay the driver the remaining money. You see, websites like Fiverr have really revolutionized online freelancing, and you can basically find any contractor selling services in any price category with fast turnaround times. This is a two out of five on the difficulty scale. All you need is basic sales and marketing skills to promote your services. And it's a 4.5 out of five on a money making scale due to its scaling and growth potential. So guys, there you have it. These are some of the best online businesses you can start today. All you have to do is pick one of these ideas and get started. Just start. Don't overthink it because as I said, if you don't, others will do it instead of you. Now, as always, if you'd like me to do a dedicated video on how to execute one of these businesses, write down in the comments which one you'd like to see me do. Every single one of you is amazing. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe to the channel, please. If you haven't already, it would really help me out a ton. And in the meantime, have a wonderful rest of the day or night and I'll catch you on the next one.